In Office 365, many times we don't want Microsoft to automatically upgrade our products because it might break something else. So we need to be able to turn that off. So let's click on the admin icon so we can get into the administrative area so we can make sure that doesn't happen. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings icon and then go to where it says organization profile. And that's going to open us up to a whole new tab. And we're going to see one of the options here for release preferences. Let's go ahead and click edit on release preferences. And by default, you can see that updates are going to happen when they release them broadly. We could also check the box that says first release for everyone. So if you want to get updates early, then you can choose that. But the smartest thing to do is to say first release for selected users. So you want to pick people to do these updates. So that way you can see if it's going to break anything. Let's go ahead and click next. And it says, are you sure you want to change? Yes. Now that that's been saved, let's go ahead and choose actions and manage people for first release. Let's go ahead and put in a name. And we'll select Jane from the list and click Save and close and close again. So now instead of everyone getting the release for any kind of updates to Office 365, that includes all of the Office products, you're only going to get the update for Jane first, and then you can go back in and release for everyone else. So that's how you change the release preferences in Office 365.